गुड मॉर्निंग दोस्तों वेलकम टू सरल सोशियोलॉजी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक डी ग्रोथ डी ग्रोथ इज एन इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड पॉलिटिकल मूवमेंट दैट चैलेंजेस द डोमिनेंट पैराडाइम ऑफ कंटिन्यूस इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एज ए सोल्यूशन टू ऑल सोसाइटल प्रॉब्लम्स इट एडवोकेट्स फॉर अ ट्रांजिशन टूवर्ड्स अ सोसाइटी दैट प्रायोरिटाइजेज वेलबींग सस्टेनेबिलिटी एंड सोशल जस्टिस ओवर एंडलेस मटेरियल अक्यूमुलेशन डी ग्रोथ कॉल्स फॉर अ शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स हॉलिस्टिक इंडिकेटर्स दैट कंसिडर सोशल रिलेशनशिप्स लेजर टाइम हेल्थ एंड एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी द फोकस इज ऑन एनहेंसिंग क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ rather than the quantity of goods consumed rather than solely focusing on gdp growth the growth advocates for indicators that measures social progress such as happiness quality of life and ecological footprint the growth recognizes the ecological limits of the planet and aims to establish sustainable patterns of resource use This involves reducing waste, promoting renewable energy sources and adopting practices that minimize environmental impact. It also emphasizes the importance of local production, consumption and self-sufficiency to reduce reliance on long distance trade and fossil fuel consumption. It promotes practices such as resource conservation, circular economies and the reduction of waste furthermore the growth highlights the importance of reducing social inequalities within societies it argues that a more equitable distribution of resources and wealth can contribute to overall well-being and social stability the growth calls for measures such as progressive taxation basic income and the provision of essential services to ensure social justice in addition to that degrowth challenges the dominant emphasis on labor and productivity by questioning the work centric nature of the society it calls for a reassessment of work life balance shorter working hours and the recognition of diverse forms of contribution including unpaid care work and voluntary activities this allows individuals to have more time for leisure personal development and community engagement it also encourages alternative forms of work such as cooperative enterprises and values the importance of leisure creativity and community engagement the growth recognizes that our current consumerist culture perpetuates values of materialism individualism and constant economic expansion it challenges the dominant narrative that equates happiness and fulfillment with material possessions as i have told you earlier the growth seeks to foster cultural shift towards sustainable and meaningful lifestyles that prioritize social relationships personal development and non material sources of well being let's see some examples of de growth initiatives the first is sharing economy sharing initiatives such as community gardens tool libraries and car sharing programs embody de growth principles by encouraging resource sharing reducing consumption and fostering social connections within communities next example is slow food movement the slow food movement is a global initiative that promotes the consumption of locally sourced seasonal and nutritious food fostering a deep connection between people their food and the environment it promotes a shift away from fast food and mass production towards quality and sustainable agriculture the third example is buen vivir in latin america buen vivir meaning good living or living well is a concept embraced by indigenous communities in latin america it emphasizes harmony with nature 
social solidarity and the recognition of diverse ways of knowing and being. Buen Vivid challenges the dominant development model and offers an alternative vision of well-being and progress. Some countries in Latin America like Ecuador and Bolivia have highly embraced the concept of Buen Vivir or Good Living as an alternative to traditional development models. Buen Vivir emphasizes the harmonious coexistence of humans with nature, the recognition of indigenous knowledge and the pursuit of well-being beyond material wealth. The fourth example is Transition Towns. Transition towns are grassroots movements that promote local resilience, self-sufficiency and sustainability. These communities aim to reduce dependence on fossil fuels, promote local food production and enhance community well-being. Examples include Tones in United Kingdom and Auroville in India. The fifth example is Sufficiency Movements. Movements advocating for sufficiency challenges the idea that more is always better. They promote simple living, conscious consumption and the pursuit of a good life that is not solely defined by material possessions. One more example is Repair Cafes. Repair Cafes where volunteers help repair household items promote a shift from a throw away culture to one of repair and reuse. The last example in our list is Eco Villages. Eco Villages are intentional communities that aim to live in harmony with nature, focusing on sustainable practices, self-sufficiency and cooperation. These communities often prioritize low impact lifestyles, alternative energy sources, and sustainable agriculture. Finally friends, I would say all these above examples illustrate practical manifestations of the degrowth philosophy, showcasing alternative ways of organizing society that prioritize sustainability, social well-being and ecological balance. By exploring the concept of degrowth, we can critically examine the limitations of our current economic system and envision alternative pathways towards a more sustainable and just future.